Okay, hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, welcome to my channel if you have never been here before. Um, I am currently pregnant. I'm 28 weeks pregnant with twin boys and that's what we're focusing on for now until the babies are here. And then it will be about me being a mom to these two boys and that journey, because I feel like that might be uh, a crazy one. So yeah, so thank you so much uh, for tuning in. And um, if you are a mom or a twin mom or whatever, you have any advice, like leave comments down below, because I am welcome to it. Um, so yeah, this is just an update video of weeks 26 and 27. Um, so first of all, um, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday um and that was for my all I had an ultrasound and a doctor's appointment and um the babies are nice and big they are both head down uh which I know they can move but at least they are head down now um and um baby A is two pounds 12 ounces and baby B is two pounds 15 ounces so they've gained a ton because at our last ultrasound Four weeks ago, baby A was one pound, 12 ounces, and baby B was one pound, eight ounces. So they have gained a lot. So super excited about that. Um, at the doctor's appointment was fine. I freaked out a bit. I had to get a needle because I'm like O negative or O positive, whatever. I can't remember which one it is, but yeah, I'm one of those. And so I need a needle. Um, and that sucked because I hate needles. I hate them. I cry and I freak out, especially because he was behind schedule. So we waited an extra 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes we waited in the doctor's office before he actually came. So that I just had time to build it up in my head, which if they were just there to do it and it was done right away, I would have been a lot better. But because I had time to think about it, I was flipping out. But I'm glad Justin was there, my husband. So, yeah, really happy about that. That he was able to be there because he's not always able with his job. But um, we're glad. I was happy. Um, and so, yeah, that was fine. Um, I was at the hospital last week because I had a headache for like three or four days. And this was like an intense headache. Like I couldn't even have lights on. Um, I would, um, it really hurt, uh, and Tylenol was not doing a thing. I was taking two every four hours, nothing was fixing it. So I went in just to make sure they t like, you know, I did the pee sample, check my blood pressure, um, no signs, of preeclampsia, no spots. Like they asked if I, I had a uh, spotty vision. I didn't. So they just told me things to look out for, um, and then if that happens to go back in. So that's uh, what I'm going to do if that continues, but hopefully, it's, I mean, it's been over now, so hopefully that's it. Um, I have started going to the gym, so that was the other thing. So at the doctor's appointment two weeks ago, I was weighed and I had gained 50 pounds in this pregnancy at 26 weeks. And 10 of those pounds were gained in just two weeks because at my 24 week appointment, I was, I had gained 40 pounds and, uh, and at my 26 week appointment, I was up to 50 pounds. So I had gained 10 pounds in two weeks. So that really, uh, made me, um, really smarten up, um, and stop eating the ice cream and the chips and instead going for the healthy foods when I'm hungry. And that has really helped. And I started going to the gym and doing prenatal yoga and stretching and stuff like that. And that has helped so much with my sleep as well as groin pain and the ligament pain that I've had that I've mentioned in other videos. Um, <clears throat> I still get it and it can still put me out, but it's not as bad and I sleep so much better. I'm not getting like a full night's rest by any means, but I am able to sleep like a solid three to four hours in a row before I wake up, which is a vast improvement than, uh, than it was before. And I think it's because I've gotten myself into a nighttime routine, which I highly recommend if you're having problems sleeping, like try to get into a nighttime routine of like winding down. Um, so like turn off the TV and like have like drink a hot drink, um, take off your makeup, do some stretching, 
prenatal yoga, like even just 10 minutes of stretching before bed has helped me so much. So I really recommend that if you're having problems with that. Um, and especially groin pain and all that. And then the exercise, I just have been going to the gym and uh, doing the elliptical because I find that that is easier on my joints and on my ligaments than, oh, sorry, something just popped up on my phone. <laughs> I film on my phone. I only have my phone. I don't have a proper camera. So that's why if it's all wobbly like that, it's because I don't have any proper equipment. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, just on the elliptical, I find that that's the easiest on my joints and on my the ligaments and my stomach. And oh, I got a belly band. That was the other thing. That has helped so much. So not when I'm at home, like just sitting around because it's not comfy to sit in. But if I'm out doing grocery shopping or exercising at the gym or doing housework or anything like that, I put on that belly band and it is awesome. And I just bought it at Babies Are Us, but you can get it on Amazon. Um, and it could be cheaper on Amazon. Um, and it is amazing. Um, it feels weird. It's hard to get used to, but it's so worth it. Um, yeah, especially if you want to work out during your pregnancy and you're as big as I am and I'll show you my belly at the end, but you need the belly band. Trust me on this one because your belly gets heavy and I didn't know that. I thought the one baby, baby B was still breached, but he's not. He's head down, which makes complete sense because my stomach has felt so heavy. They're still high. Like, you'll see what I show you. Like, the bump is high, but their heads are down, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so that's that for the nighttime routine. Um, so my weight, so two weeks ago, it was 50 pounds. Um, and now, two weeks later, it's still at 50 pounds. So I haven't gained any weight, but the babies have gained lots. And that's what matters. They're, if they're taking it from me, thank you, Jesus. Like, I want them to take it. Take it. I don't want it. <laughs> um, so I'm not dieting. I want to be clear on that. I'm not cutting my calories. I'm not, you know, doing an hour and a half at the gym. I'm doing 30 minutes of very light, light cardio and stretching morning and night. Um, and then some, just uh, some exercise ball, like hip circle things. They're supposed to be good for your hips and stuff and getting the baby in the right position. That type of stuff. <coughs> That's it. I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying not to be the way I was before, which was uh, not doing anything and eating a lot of ice cream and chips. That's what I was doing. So I'm not doing that anymore, which has helped. Oh, and my glucose test from, I got that twenty at 26 weeks. It's clear. I do not have diabetes. Yay! I was worried because of my weight because I'd gained so much and it's twins and I guess you have a higher risk of getting it when you have twins but I don't so I'm super happy about that um very happy um what else ligament and groin pain I've already said I still have it not as bad um but um I definitely still do get it, but it doesn't put me out because now I have these stretches and exercises I do. And all the exercises I have, I got off YouTube. I just Googled or YouTubed, like put it into the search engine, um, like, you know, prenatal yoga for hip pain or groin pain or ligament pain. And then things come up. Um, and we did get a van. So I, I taped some of what we did, um, yesterday like with the the ultrasound the doctor's appointment um the van i forgot to videotape so i want to do a tour of the van but we have we're in a major store snowstorm right now so i'm going to videotape that like do a tour of it tomorrow and post that video for thursday um so stay tuned for that one um i'm so happy about the van though because i think because i'm at getting near i have about in my head i have nine weeks left at 37 weeks those babies I want out of there. Um, and I will do whatever I have to do <laughs> to induce that labor <laughs> at 37 weeks if I'm not already in labor. Um, so yeah, so in my head, I have, I have nine weeks left. Um, 
So I really want things in order. So that van, getting that van was such a big deal and really meant a lot. So I'm super happy about that. And it's awesome and we can afford it and it's great. We're so happy. Um, so that, yeah, again, that vlog will be up on Thursday. Um, and then also have a baby shower coming up on the weekend. So I'm going to hopefully get some videotape of that um, and post that for next Tuesday. Um, yeah, and now I think that's it. And I think I will just show you my baby bump. Okay, so there's the one side. See what I mean? It's up high. And this is the other side. Pretty big. And my hips are quite large right now. But yep, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, everybody. Bye.